Well, haven't I got a video for you today? In today's video, we are talking about topical authority. Well, we're talking about topical authority in the context of a fresh website. Now, I get this question a lot. What to do if you have a new website? Because a lot of what I talk about is using internal links, which is a link from one of your pages to another page, to spread topical authority across your website. So what does that actually look like? Let's say you've got a page here. This is a page, okay? Uh, what you do is you write content around the same topic, and from that, that page, you link to this page, okay? And what that does is it slowly raises the topical authority, not just of this page, but also of the entire website because you're creating more content. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do I do this if I don't have any content? And yeah, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I would do that. So first of all, this is using a custom GPT. This is one that I just wrote quickly. Like it, it's, you can make it better and you can find it in the description, etc. But I'm just gonna to go to edit and configure and we're just gonna have a quick look at how this is set up, okay? So you are SEO GPT. Your goal is to create topical authority maps for websites that don't exist yet. You create a table with title, description of page, URL handle. Okay, this is really, really important. Ask for a niche. Give 10 sub-niches in that niche. Then ask which sub-niche you would like to explore first. Then generate 30 pages for each sub-niche. Now you can, at the end of this 30, you can say continue. You can say give me more, etc., etc. But 30 is a pretty high number because that's already 300 plus pages. Now, this is exactly what I did for Ducas, but the way that I did Ducas, I made a mistake, okay? Um, so it's not actually getting indexed, it's not actually ranking, etc., etc. The content's also not that good. This was a test, and yeah, it just it didn't really work. Like, I'll, I'll show you just, you know, there's no point just saying things don't work, I may as well show you. So we'll go to Ducas, and yeah, like the clicks, etc., not really here, obviously. The reason for that is because I released 400 posts in one day when the website was already indexed. However, what you should do instead is you should create all of this content first and then release it and then index it. So the way this works is it takes the niche and split it, splits it into sub niches. For all those sub niches, it generates 30 potential pages at a time. These pages should cover all the topics around that sub niche without repeating yourself in any way. That should be a space. The idea is to do a whole 360 degree overview of that sub niche, including the most popular search terms around it. This builds topical authority. You will output a table with three columns. The title column should include the main keyword, but not be overly long or complicated. The description column should give a brief overview of the page and what people can expect from the page. This is to later put it into ChatGPT. The URL slug column should include a short and to the point URL slug of that page. Never repeat topics more than once. You uh, create as much cre uh, as much and detailed. You create as much and as detailed as possible for each sub niche. Detailed information as possible for each sub niche. Okay, so we'll close that. We'll update. You can find a link to this in the description. You can also just find the instructions in the description as well. So once we're here, we open up our topical authority and we say hi. I am going to use classic menswear. The only reason I'm using classic menswear, okay, is because I know this niche well and I can tell you straight away if something is good or bad, okay? So I'm here to help. Please provide me with the niche you're interested in. I'll generate some niches and potential web pages for you. So we'll say classic menswear. And then what it'll do is it will create the 10 sub niches for classic menswear. These represent pillar pages. I can immediately tell you if these are good or bad. So suits and tailoring, obviously a good one. Dress shirts and ties, that's a good one. Formal shoes, accessorizing, overcoats and outerwear, classic hairstyle and grooming, etiquette and style, guys, this is a good one. Vintage menswear, that's a good one. Casual classics, that's a very, very good one. And then I'm hoping the last one's going to be formal or something. International menswear, okay, that's okay. So I've already done this one. I've already tested this one. It worked really, really well. So what I'm going to do instead is let's do, oh, well, we may as well just do it in order. So do number one. What this is going to do is it's going to give you all of the topics that you need to cover to really be considered an authority on suits and tailoring. Okay. So you just call the basics, but the really, really cool and important thing. Okay. And this is something that people don't really realize you can do. 
okay? You can internally, you can internally link, I'm just going to write this down, you can internally link to a page that doesn't exist yet, okay? So because we're not indexing the website until, you know, all the content is on there, we can do something really, really specific, which is we can actually m link to pages that don't exist yet, okay? So normally what happens if you go on like two men .it slash collections, we don't sell, I don't know, Armani. So I do slash Armani and it takes me to a 404 page, okay? But I could make this page, I could internally link to this page if my boss tells me in the past, if he says something like my old boss, in a few months we're going to get Armani, so start talking about Armani on the blog posts. I can already do that. Just because we don't have it yet, or just because the page doesn't exist, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, a 404 is not the end of the world, okay? I'm not saying do this on your live sites, okay? What I'm saying is you can internally link to something that doesn't exist yet, okay? So, what we can actually do is we can create all of the content without worrying, oh, that page doesn't exist yet, what am I going to do, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. It does not matter because you can create internal links to things that don't exist yet. So now you have 30 pages, look, you have all 30 pages here, and you have their URLs. As long as you don't change this, this is the URL for this page, okay? It doesn't matter that the content hasn't been created yet. So this is what, this is what I find kind of, it's so important to understand this. So when you have a fresh website, the first thing you need to do is you need to nail at least 10 of these topics, okay? So choose the best 10 from this list. Now, if you want to know what the best 10 are, you can use Ahrefs Keyword Generator, you can use Google Ads Keyword Planner. If you don't want to sign up to anything, okay, just go on Google, type in Ahrefs Keyword Planner, or Generator, sorry. And then you take one, Wedding Suits for Men, okay? And you just put it here, and you search, and it will verify, etc., etc. And you can actually see According to Ahrefs, what kind of traffic you could expect from an article that covers all of these topics, okay? So, you write one article, you cover all of these, okay? And then you can do sub-niches from this sub-niche, and etc, etc. But, before you overcomplicate things, you take suits, okay? You create uh, a page for suits with all of the info on it. Then, you create 10 sub-niche pages and internally link to suits and then what you do is you do the next one so that's suits done okay let's say that's suits done so then you go to the next one you can create 30 if you want i'm just saying 10 because i don't want to i don't want to freak people out basically because i know some people hear 10 and they say oh my god 10 i'm not doing 10 that's insane so yeah you gotta you gotta be careful okay you can't you can't be too expectant of yourself you can't be too expectant of other people. I know what it's like to create 30 sub niche pages for each page, okay? It does take a bit of time. So that's why I'm talking in tens instead of thirties, okay? But I would personally recommend doing 30. Now, something really, really interesting here. Business attire is an amazing keyword, okay? It's literally one of the best keywords in this niche. Formal event dressing guide, another amazing keyword. Seasonal style guides for men, really, really good. You can just generally see, this is another really good keyword, this is another really good keyword. This is how you build topical authority, this is how you cover a lot of topics without, you know, having to do any thought for yourself, basically. Now, if you wanted to write all this content, it's a different matter. That's when you go on my channel, and you find one of my videos, and you write content using one of my videos. Now, what I'm using right now is this one right here. I made a custom GPT for SEO that writes infinite words. This is m probably my best writing technique as of today. Now, it is quite hard in this niche, uh, in this beautiful niche of um, AI SEO and chat GPT, etc. It's, it's a really interesting niche, but things change all the time. So I may do make a lot of videos that might seem like they are the same video. This video here is my best, most up-to-date current method for ranking on Google. So once you've done um, once you've done all your research and you've created your topical pages, just say no as well. You can actually store these. So you can just press copy here. And then I would personally go to markdown to HTML. 
and just delete all of the useless crap. And then the really good thing about like um, kind of the way computers works is this will actually copy and paste into a Google Sheet. A lot of people don't know this. I don't know why, but a table is a table, right? So it's a comma, comma separate value or space separated value or whatever it might be. So now you can start to build what is known as a topical map. So this is suits and tailoring, and this is 30 topics on suits and tailoring, okay? So we'll do format as well, wrapping, and we'll just wrap it just so we can see all the content, etc. Then what we'd want to do is we want to get the next one, okay? So this is another 30, and we just do exactly the same thing, put it into markdown HTML, get rid of the crap here and here. And then we just do exactly the same thing. We can put it here, let's say. So this is um, uh, etiquette. I don't know how to spell etiquette. That's not how you spell etiquette, is it? Etiquette, yeah. Uh, oh, whatever. It really doesn't matter. And then you control V this again, uh, and you adjust, blah, blah, blah. And now you start to build topical authority and as long as you don't change these URL slugs, you can already use these as internal links. Okay, so let's say we want to write after after you've done all of this. This is how you this is how you build topical authority. Okay, you do ten of each for each of these. That's a hundred pages. Okay, then after that, that's when you start writing blog posts. Those blog posts will then internally link across the web. Okay. But you can also, if you only do 10, so you have uh, 10 suit sub niches, for example, you can still internally link to the other 20, even if they don't exist yet, because after you've done some blogs, you will go back and you will create some more of this content. Now, for me personally, what I would do, and this is what I did with Tiny Home Hub, is I would just create all 300, uh, sorry, 310, so 10 uh, pillar pages, 300 sub niche pillar pages and then I don't know 100 blog posts okay this right here if you do this and you still have zero traffic then I don't know what to tell you honestly but this is like my blueprint to getting your first kind of organic sale affiliate sale whatever it might be so yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, you can find everything in the description as usual there's no course there's no sign up there's nothing just yeah good free content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.